welcome to part one of this clinical user training series for the Mindray R12 electrocardiograph. This video provides an overview of the physical features and how to power the device. The AC mains power cable is connected at the back of the device. The patient cable is connected on the side of the device. This is the power indicator. When illuminated green, AC mains power is connected. This is the battery indicator, which will change colour according to battery status. Press the power key to turn the device on. Press and hold the power key to turn the device off. The setup key is used to enter the device's setup menus. The leads key is used to change the display format of leads screen. The ID key is used to enter the patient information menus. The ECG key is used to start the acquisition of an ECG report. This is explained in more detail in part 3 of this training series. The keyboard is used to input data. Your device may have a touchscreen. Non-touchscreen versions of the R12 will instead have soft keys along the right-hand side of the screen. A banner at the bottom of the screen displays user alert messages. To load ECG paper, open the paper tray by lifting the lever underneath the tray. Place a ream of Mindray ECG paper into the tray. Flip back the top sheet of paper so the printed grid faces upwards and the black square is visible in the lower left corner. Align the paper with the markers and firmly close the tray. Welcome to part two of this clinical user training series for the Mindray R12 electrocardiograph. This video provides instructions for the recommended system setup to be completed prior to using the device for the first time. If your device is already set up, you can skip this video and move to part three. Switch on the device using the power key. To ensure that all reports are labelled with patient details, please follow these steps. Press the setup key to access the main menu. Using the keyboard arrow keys or the touch screen, select basic setup. Now select patient info setup. Ensure the following boxes are ticked. ID, last name, first name, age and gender. Scroll down to also select date of birth and V3 placement. On completion, use the back key to return to the previous menu. In the basic setup menu, set the time, date and date format as follows. Also within the basic setup menu, Select IEC as the lead notation. Scroll down to choose your preferred options for auto standby and auto shutdown. Press back to return to the previous menu. In the Waveform Setup menu, ensure that the device is operating using these advised settings. In the Report Setup menu, select Extend Record. This ensures a rhythm strip will be printed if critical events occur during an auto-measurement ECG. Enter the File Management menu and select Preview. This feature provides users with an ECG preview prior to printing and helps ensure ECG paper is not wasted on poor quality recordings. Your device is now ready to use. These settings will be the default each time the device is turned on. 
Welcome to part three of this clinical user training series for the Mindray R12 electrocardiograph. This video will explain how to acquire ECG reports and review patient data. Attach the patient cables as per standard 12 lead ECG placement to the patient. The lead wires are color coded and a reference diagram can be seen on the trunk cable for your assistance. Switch on the device using the power key. Alerts such as lead off will be highlighted in a banner at the bottom of the screen. Press the patient ID key to enter patient details. Select new patient tab and input the patient details as shown. You may wish to select a previous patient instead. To do this, press the patient ID key and select patient list. Highlight and select the correct patient from the list and press save. You will now see the patient ID at the top of the screen and on printed reports. To discharge the patient, either power off the device or input new patient details. Waveform settings can be viewed and adjusted along the right-hand side of the screen. To make adjustments, simply tap the relevant key to cycle through the options. To acquire an auto-measurement ECG report, ensure your patient has been still for 10 seconds and press the ECG key. If patient details have not been entered, you should be prompted to do this now. The device will generate a preview for you to check the ECG quality. If you are unhappy with the preview, select the Home key to return to the main screen, where you can repeat the ECG recording. If you are happy with the recording, press the Print key. To acquire a manual measurement, press the manual key. The device will print real-time 12-lead ECG waveforms until the stop key is pressed. To acquire a rhythm strip, press the rhythm key. The device will acquire 60 seconds of lead to waveform data before printing. To change the lead setup for the rhythm strip, press the setup key. Select report setup and then rhythm format options. Auto measurement ECG reports will be automatically saved to the device memory after printing. To review previous reports, select the directory key as shown. Enter the patient's ID or name in the keyword search box and press search. Select the patient and press review to view the desired report. Select print to make another copy 